All right, what is up, everybody? This is Zach Zacharias. We are back again with more of Abaddon to the Corruption. So let's go ahead and continue. We already took care of the top half with Odell and his forces' helps, with their help. So now we have to explore the bottom portion. The enormous cavern under the Rebel Keep is an inferno. There is a stone circle of the Wild Realm surrounded by several bubbling calderas. The woods are not the only place where the shamans of the Western Lands can draw from the raw power of nature. Dedrick sniffs the air nervously and winces. This is a place of true power. If Consina can draw from it, from it, we will have to... His voice trails off. He has no more idea of how to deal with it than you do. There are no signs of Consina here. There are no guards or, or shamans. At first, at first, then a band of enemy warriors approaches the circle from the north. They have not seen you yet, but they will soon. Of course, we're going to summon a drake and summon a turret. I probably could wait until I summon two turrets before doing a battle frenzy, but that's alright. Now I think about it. Again, and for a for the final time, a familiar figure walks out of the shadows. It is Silky, and she is leaving. All of her possessions are on a satchel over her so shoulder. Her sword is in her hand, and she is trying to slip out of the fort in the confusion. When she sees you, she lowers her blade. The scout says, Malik, I thought I might get away without meeting you. You you made, made your decision. The day will be yours, I think. Now I need to go. Kalita mutters, unless we, unless we punish you for your crimes, your treason, where will you go? Away. The wilds. Exile. I am done with rebellions. Done with politics. I will hide. Try to form a new life somewhere. It will be hard, but it is, it is the only path left to me. You are abandoning the rebels? I must. I still believe they do what is right, but... Abaddon. The Black Fortress cannot be opposed. I see that now. And you have to go? I do. If I stay here, I will die. Probably with my head in a noose. Malik, you have been a good companion. I wish... It, it doesn't matter. We made our choices. Now I ask you to let me go. No, I can't just let you go. Silky stops moving. After a moment's thought, she raises her blade again. Malik, what are you saying to me? After all the time we hunted and fought together? 
I will do you the honor of killing you myself. Yes. Thank you, Malik. I will not be tried. I will not die alone, with Hope Londons and Pack Lackey spitting on me. This here is the only way I accept the punishment I deserve. And then she half-heartedly lunges at you. The scout looks at you one final time, and you can see the terror in her eyes. Doki collapses to the ground, coughing blood. Malik, I... I... You have killed me. I am cold. I did not think this... The scout groans in pain. This is how it ends. You are a deserter and a traitor. It is what you deserve. So cold. So... And... And of Abaddon. Truly, what you are. If, and then she is silent, you close her eyes. Okay, what is over here in this section? I mean, there was really no turning back from that now. Here is excellent evidence that the Rebellion is more than just a bunch of wild, irritated Wilds Realm tribes folk. There is a forge to the south. It is enormous. It is full of the best, newest Dharamite equipment. There is a Dharamite smith working there now, oblivious to the carnage above, aided by a huge construct. These are not Wild Realm resources. They are being aided by someone. Happily, the smith hasn't noticed you. It's too loud and smoky and nobody bothered to tell him what is happening.
That gives a boost to strength, but we already have a one that gives us boost to strength. I wonder if that would be good on a Yoshiria, though. I do feel kind of bad about killing Soki, but at the same time, he did betray the pact. I mean, we have Dedrick here. I mean, he did ask us to do something that Abaddon wasn't... Uh, we did help him out with something that Abaddon wasn't strictly for. But he has no problems with, uh, with uh, hunting down rebels himself, so... I mean, he did... Uh, bring that up in the dialogue earlier but at the same time he's not like objecting to it now there is a large magical workshop hidden back here not nature magic not for shamanic rites it's majory the sort of magic the kellum specialize in someone spent a great deal of money and effort building this here there are four magic circles each on its own rocky protrusion all of them connected by a series of ironwood bridges. Some treatment keeps the wood from bursting into flame in the searing heat. A sorcerer is waiting for you, standing on the farthest magical circle. He watches as you approach. Then he cups his hands round his mouth and shouts, You face no mere rebel, Malik. I've been waiting for you. You want to face Michon? You do it on his terms. Michon says, That is close enough. I was sent to aid Constina. That is what I will do. I hope this shows you our value. He shouts. You look around to see who he's talking to, but nobody else is visible. You know what? Sue yourself. Close enough to me, Sean, the sorcerer, to deliver a blow. He reels back, emerging with a long, wicked scratch. He smiles. That is the best Abaddon can do. You'll have to do better, because I won't give you the chance again. And then you are aiming your blow at an imp. Michon is gone, replaced by a leering, snarling inferno. You realize that Michon is now standing in a different circle. Well, that's BS. Well, that's annoying for my Tinker Mage because if he's going to be doing all this crap. You know what? Let's leave those turrets right there anyway. At least our turrets can fight whatever popped up right there. I 
I feel like if he's gonna be just bouncing around like that, we should go ahead and switch to the bow. Enough of this trickery, though. Good lord. Once again, he managed to land a blow on Mishan. Once again, he vanishes, leaving an inferno behind. He reappears on a different circle. He says, when my master sent me to help these rebels, I knew they could not hide from you. They were not competent. When I have killed all of you and reported their loss, I will be sure to point out that I was right all along. Dang it, I probably could have. Yeah, I can have it. charm effect. Come on, with all this bouncing around. Like a freaking... with all this bouncing around. Golly. Come on, Michon. Bring it on. Got any more bag of... Michon is starting to grow weak. He's losing blood. However, the magical defenses he created are still full of power. They pull him away before you can do any real damage. He snarls. Well, perhaps I will only kill you before I flee. My master will be very angry that I let Avedon defeat me. Be, but he will understand. What makes you so sure you're even going to kill us? Damn. 
thing bouncing around. Your final blow throws Mishan off balance. He slips, reels back, and falls into the caldera. His magical defenses pull him out of it, but too late. What arrives on a nearby platform is a charred, dripping parody of the human form. There is only left of there is only enough left of Mishan to provide a short, agonized scream. Then, mercifully, he dies. Over the sound of the lava, you hear barely hear an anguished cry. Someone is watching you from the passage out of here. You barely catch a glimpse of her as she turns and runs. Black Birch Seth. One does a little bit better, but that might be good on a better on a Yonic, to be honest. You return to the stone circle. One lone, lone woman stands in the middle of it. Although she is covered in blood and grime, you recognize her. You first saw her in the cave of Riverlands, parlay, parlaying with Goros the Hunter, then above threatening Commander Odo. And now she is here before you, cornered at last, Constina, leader of the Southern Rebels. When you enter the chamber, she sees that Mishan has failed. You lift. She shakes her head, knowing what has to be done. She raises a golden goblet to her lips, ready to drink. Dedrick looks at the goblet. What is... This is not good. Don't let her drink from that. You enter the circle and approach Consina. She holds her staff in one hand and the gold goblet in the other. She raises the chalice to her lips and drinks, and thanks it very quiet. The air is cold now. The bubbling and hissing of the caldera grows quiet. Consina's skin come, becomes pale and her eyes become black, and you feel a chill grab your chest. The stones suddenly seem to loom over you, keeping you safe. Constina speaks, her voice hollow and inhuman. You are locked here now, Malik. I suppose there's no point in asking you to surrender. Her voice is deep and cold, but still unmistakably hers. No, there is none. We rebels, the true children of the Wildrum. Death or victory, nothing else can be allowed to us. What have you done? She lets go of the goblet. It clatters to the ground. We are bound. The ritual is complete. You and I are bound. Bound to the circle. The one who leaves will die. Only your death and mine ends the ritual. The powers given to us were not enough to defeat you. I will do it myself. The powers given to you? The magic. The weapons. We thought they would be ready in time. They were not. Our supposed savior was not fast enough. Not for the new Farlanders. Who is helping you? Miranda? Deless? She doesn't react to the name of Miranda. When you say Deless, however, she smiles. He is smart, but he is not as brilliant as he thinks he is. I wish him total victory against you. Who are the new Farlanders? We are. The rebels. Those who choose freedom and the old ways over the pact. I chose to be a Farlander, and a Farlander I will die. I can't leave the circle. Not until I am dead and the ritual ends. Step out and death's claws will seize you. The same limit holds me, but I am not afraid, as I will kill you. If this is what you want... Constina raises her staff. Glowing figures start to slowly emerge from the ship's stones. Now you face the raw power of the shaman. The secrets of the wild realm come to claim you. Malik, it is time. You step away from the magic circle, as Constina promised. You immediately begin to feel ill. 
Until your duel is done, the farther you get from the circle, the worse it will hurt you. Let's do it yourself. Oh, screw your spine shield. I'm not afraid of that. A nebuth of energy forms around Constina. The shimmery field instantly deflects a blow. Looking close, you see tiny wisps of light floating from the shades to Constina, protecting her. You see, Hand of Avadon, no matter how many toys your tinker mages create, the power of nature will always prevail. Screw your ensnare effect. I'm guessing we have to kill these circle spirits to be able to affect her more. You destroy another of Constantine's shades. Spirits have too little power remaining to, for, to them to protect her. The shield surrounding her face. Consina says, Well done, Malik. You survived the rain, but now you face the storm. Okay, well, I hate to interrupt your cliches, but I will be taking you down. Get away from me. The circle has regained some of its power. Constantina's shield returns. See, our power is the power of nature. Inexhaustible. You have no hope. Give up. Constina collapses. Her eyes regain her normal color. The chill feeling leaves your chest. The test has concluded. You have passed. Constina is racked with coughing. Speckles of blood cover her lips. If you approach her, she shudders with disgust. What is this? Come to gloat? To interrogate me one last time? You won. Laugh while you can. Your enemies are almost ready. Soon they will will and then she is gone did she really know something or was she only taunting you you will never know for now it doesn't matter the leader of the southern rebels is dead victory is yours
Ooh, that looks very good. Yeah, let's put that on. Might be able to give that to uh, Yoshiria. Commander Odell approaches to speak with you. He barks at you. Well, is Constina taken yet? She is dead. Odell nods solemnly. The survivors of the attack are not so shy. They let out a rousing cheer. We are victorious. I I did not think I would live out the day. And yet, victory. What a sweet word. Now we will hold the fort for a search short, short time. Search it. Learn what we can. Then raise it to the ground. As for you, you need to report this victory. Tell Avedon what happened here today. Red Bull will make sure the word spreads. Thank you, Malik. You have done well. I would add that Avedon's big contribution secured a great victory for the pack today. Odell shakes his head in agreement. I will admit the truth. Without Avedon's might, the rebels would have won, and we would have not survived the day. Everyone should hear about the one good thing Abaddon has done. Odell couldn't help but put a dig at Abaddon's expense in the end. I will go. Odell gives a final nod and turns back to his surviving soldiers. He barks orders, determined to hold the fort against any rebel bands that show up. His, his exhaustion fades in moments now that he has work to do. You take the chance to slip away. Ooh, whoa, over here. I didn't even see this section. It doesn't really matter at this point if we kill these wolves. I don't know. We might get a better exit out of doing this. I mean, I don't have to worry about XP or anything anymore since the, the max level is 30. There's quite a bit here. I mean, I still have time in the video. I mean, we can definitely cover this well. Wakes of vitality, but I'll do it anyway.
Ooh, enchanted nugget. Okay. Go to the tower. Yeah, that's going to be very good for Kalita there. Might give that other boat a Yonic. Okay, yeah, so I'm glad I explored, explored more of this real quick. Enchanted nugget. See what uh, Nicodemus can do with that. Okay, so this is just another exit. Let's go ahead and go out the way, other way we found real quick, though. Just so that gate remains open. I mean, it probably doesn't matter if we open that or not, but still. Did we ever find an exit at the left side, or the right side? I don't think we there is going to be one. I wonder if he returns back to Rockridge Keep after we do that, though. Nope, doesn't return back to Rockridge Sheep. I am curious to see if, uh, that one scout who was asking about Silky is, uh, is back yet. Maybe we could talk to her about something. I feel like no at this point. Would you like to talk about Silky? You sit and share a bowl of stew with Lore. She is still, she is clearly still sad over the loss of Silky, but she attempts to be stoic about it. Would you like to talk about Silky? Lore slowly nods. I would. We were close friends. We came from the same tribe to in the north, far from rebel lands to this chaos. I know that you were the last one she traveled with. I would like to hear anything you could tell me. Silky was a traitor. Now she is dead. You tell Lore what happened. She cries freely, shocked by the betrayal of her friend. Finally, she says, I thank you. Thank you for the truth, as hard as it is. Now please leave me. I have much must mourn what she was before she stands and walks away barely managing to get out of the room with her dignity intact oh. like i said uh, before i might do a playthrough on my own time where i support i sympathize with the rebels more and 
silky, but for both uh, this playthrough and also for mechanical reasons, leading into Abaddon 3, I will stay loyal to Abaddon. So that being said, if you were doing a let's play of this, you don't have to follow what I'm doing. You can choose whatever you want. It's just I, I like consistency more. Ooh, we have somebody missing? Okay. Oh, it's Yoshiri is missing. Okay. At, at level 10, adds 10% for level chance of reducing the time to recharge your abilities. At level 6, gain Corrupting Cloud. Raise down a cloud of corruption, doing a lot of acid damage to foes in an area. first well let's go ahead and turn on our mission first and then we can deal with inventory management and all that i am back from the titan peaks i have my report you report the destruction of Constina and her rebel force protus's hand shakes as he takes his notes he is thrilled at last a genuine victory and abaddon was involved handbar's council will hear about this before the day is out you're brought another pouch of coins as a reward. You know that is larger than usual. An extra reward to m remind you who your advocate is in Abaddon. After this victory, you deserve a good, long rest. Alas, you will not get it. Redbeard has already asked for you by name. You are to return to the Tawan Empire. Go speak with Redbeard immediately. This is a great victory? No, in any other time it would be a minor victory, at best. Barely a footnote. But in these times, any victory is worth celebration. Now go see Redbeard. Maybe we can compound your success. The assaults on the pack seem to have been orchestrated by a shadowy figure named Deleth in the Tawan Empire. Redbeard wants to explore the temples of Tawan and try to find out where he's hiding. To get the specifics, go upstairs and see Redbeard. Alec, I was given a message of some of some importance when you have the time. What is your message? Yoshiria had to leave Abaddon very quickly. Before she departed, she told me that if she did not return in the span of hours, I was to tell you that time has passed. She also said that she left a message for you on the table in her quarters. These can be found under the main dining hall. Until, until Yoshiria is found, she will no longer be available to you. Okay. The Shadow Walker Yoshiria is in some serious political trouble. She will need your help to get out of it. She has been abducted, and you need to learn where she has been taken. Perhaps you can find a clue in her quarters under the main dining hall. First, let's take care of some stuff here in Abaddon. Make all attacks do more damage. Dexterity. That would be best on Yoshiria, but we don't have her with us right now, so... We can probably just give it to him. Give it to Malik. I see runestone. Let me take a look at that black birch sap we got. Oh, we already have one. Okay, never mind then.
double enhancement to intelligence. We can go ahead and sell the black birch staff. You know what, screw it. Since we, uh... Don't even have your chair yet. Let's just go ahead and sell these. Can you craft any new items for me? I found a gold nugget. It seems to have magical energy in it. Uh... Craftmaster Nicodemus eagerly rips the item out of your hands. You judge this nugget correctly. I'm not sure what this magic is, but I'm sure I can put it to work for you. He also takes your money. He grabs two of his assistants, literally, and drags them, literally, down to his lower workshop. You hear several hours worth of clanging, shouting, and muffled explosions. Then he comes back upstairs with a singe princess and a necklace. I made the gold into a necklace, as you can see. The hard part was manipulating it without losing any of the energy. I succeeded. You are welcome. Okay. Ooh, golden braid. That would be good. Yeah, let's put that on Dedrick then. First, I am curious to see what the message Yoshiria left for us. Do we have anything in here we can do? do uh... Not really. You enter Yoshiria's quarters. It is chilly. The brazier is out. The bed isn't made. The cup of tea has been left unintended for at least a day. You search her quarters and find that someone has pinned a note to the inside of the door. Reading it gives you a shiver. Yoshiria is ours. We have taken her. Only the assistance of a hand of Abaddon will spare her. Come to us in our ha hall in the northern hills of Blackwood. Do not delay. A map has been sketched on the back of the letter showing you where Blackwood is. Okay, dang. That's very eerie. In the meantime, let's go see Redbeard. Our Protus has sent me back to you again. Redbeard nods. The frustration is clear on his face. I have thought that the information you discovered about Deles would lead to a speedy progress. It didn't. I'd hoped to avoid a tedious simple by simple search. Now it seems like the only way to proceed. So what will I do? Use a portal to return to Daram. Travel to Fort Foresight. Ayatsu will assign the temples you are to search. Report what you find directly back to me. Am I the only hand going there? You don't need to know the answer to that question, so you won't. So just investigate. Yes, ma <laughs> make sure no enemies of the pact are hiding in the temples you are given. And of course, if you find a less, instant destruction. Okay, cool. I'd like to know more about the Taiwan Empire. There was little to say. Once they were mighty, most of Linnaeus was under their control. 
Then they grew weak and decadent and lazy and stupid. They did not value what they had and they let it slip away. Now their former possessions are free of their rule and the top one will never forgive us for it. Do you think they will always rebel against us? Yes, but only until they have been beaten enough to finally lose hope. Until they accept that they will never again rule our lands, there will be no peace. Then we will beat them down until they let us be. That is the right spirit. There will be no peace until this the less matter is settled and our foes are punished. Okay. So as far as Abaddon stuff... The only one we have available to us that we can do... ...is hunt for the raptors. So let's head back up to him real quick. Oh no, that, that ain't it. Blackwood, isn't that back in, uh... ...the contested lands, though? Can I continue the hunt for Griffin? Last, you can. We have received another hint to his location. We believe that since he, that he has fled to the Tawan Empire, since hands can travel there freely, we want to pay for your help. We believe that he is passing to the Eastern Tawan, a region with a dangerous reputation. When you are in towns there, you may want to listen for clues. We want to know where Griffin went. How did you gather that information? Envoy Jamie says says nothing. What if I find him? He is a deadly foe. If you killed him, we would be very grateful. However, simple information regarding his location will be enough to earn a reward. A dangerous reputation? It is a remote land in the Tawan. There are many rumors. If there is a rebellion brewing against the pack, that is where it will be most active. There are also many ruined temples full of Tawan's ancient mad gods. Should I look for Griffin in the temples? I would advise against it. Griffin is Kellum. Someone now of the Tawan would have to be mad to hide inside one of their temples. They are often occupied. He smiles, as you well know. Okay, I'm not going to accuse him of uh, doing something with Sh Yoshiria, though. At least not yet. But isn't Blackwood in the Contested Lands? Where we just were at? Or was that name something else entirely? Ravage Woods, Blackwood. Ooh, it is going to be up. Oh, it's in this section up here. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and resume this in the next part of Let's Play. I will we'll save the gamer right here. But I will see you all soon in the next part.